Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm uh, excited to be here. Thanks a lot uh, for joining this session. So to just brief about this topic, robotic process automation, as you all know, that this is a very exciting time to learn this topic. I'll introduce you to the basics of this topic. Even before we delve into understanding what is RPA and why are we getting into it, we will try to understand what is the kind of demand we have for this technology? Which are the different companies? What are the different use cases? We'll talk about all this from the basics. And then I'll also explain you about a different platform, different platform products we have and how you can engage with us. First, let's understand why we are trying to learn this technology. So look at this study by McKinsey Global Institute, where it talks about the technology jobs are becoming pervasive. You can see the first one, which talks about physical and manual skills are going lower and lower. That means we are not only just looking at physical and manual skills, but you can see the slide from the top to the bottom. It talks about the basic cognitive skills, higher cognitive skills, social and emotional skills, and lastly, the technological skills. So that is where you can see a huge jump in the number of requirements we have. So that is where we have to get ourselves prepared to be ready for the next generation of jobs, next generation of entrepreneurship as well. Now, this is a slide by the drop where they talk about the increased need for automation of business processes which is leading to the rising demand for RPA professionals across the globe. It's not just in one country that there is a need for this skill set, but it is required across the globe in each and every country. You can see the number of installed talent, which is already there in that particular country, and also the number of job openings which are there for RPA. And on the right side, you can also see the different job roles which are available in this technology. So it's just not only about a developer. It is going to cater to every possible role in an IT company. And we'll get into each and every role after a couple of slides. So now let's look at the necessary workforce skills of tomorrow. We being in the premier educational institutes today, we are preparing for the next generation of jobs. So that's where we have to look at what are the top skills which are required for the future. We are just not preparing for today. We are preparing for tomorrow. So as you can see, again, from the McKinsey Global Institute, these are the top skills of the future. Leadership, communication, digital, critical thinking, technology, and advanced IT literacy. So this is where we are going to focus on the technology and advanced IT literacy. We're just not going to work on simple Excel, Word, PowerPoints. Instead, we are going to look at how enterprises use large IT applications and how we can automate a lot of these work so that the repetitive work is taken care of by the software robots while the humans focus on the high value tasks. Everything is digital. We work on computers, desktops, the laptops, the iPads, and the mobiles. That means everything is digital. More than physical world, we try to engage with the digital world more and more. That's where the work is actually getting complex. But that does not mean that our work has to be complex. Instead, we will use technology to make use of all the tools available make our lives easier by letting the boring and monotonous tasks to be done by the bots. Now, let's get back and understand what is robotic process automation, the short form RPA. Now, as a human, we work on a lot of things. We answer phone calls, we work on Excel sheets, we prepare presentations, we look for folders, we look for different files, we schedule meetings, we analyze data from PDFs, we interact with chat application and all this, a lot of work we do is on the systems. Now, let's see how we can break this down into using the software bots to perform these. So 
RPA means using software bots. Bot is a short form for robot. Robot is always used in terms of the mechanical robots which moves around. But here we are talking about software bots. That means these are software programs installed in the computer. And this is going to automate the manual, repetitive and mundane tasks and processes so that humans can work on productive tasks. Now, it's our time to let these bots take care of all this repetitive tasks while we deploy our time and skills into critical thinking, social interactions, time management and project management. Now, let's look at what is a digital workforce. We are looking at an era where the humans are going to work with a digital workforce. That means you will have a bot as a colleague, a bot as an assistant, a bot as a productivity pack. Now let's do the comparison between the human workforce and the digital workforce. These are the main activities which we do on a daily basis. Act. That means the tasks which we perform with our hands using the keyboard and the mouse. That's how we interact with a computer. So that is the act part. Next is thinking part. We think about how do we plan for something? How do we execute a project? So that is about our mental capabilities of thinking. Next is analyze. Analyze means any after performing any work, we want to understand how useful is this work. So we have to analyze the productivity, the results, the ROI to understand whatever we are focusing on, is it useful or not? And last, to do all these tasks, we need some energy too. So that's where we all love coffee or tea, any kind of beverages to help us get back to work and focus more on the high value tasks. Now, let us look at how RPA bots can help us with whatever we are doing currently. So they are going to assist us in doing these jobs while we focus on higher value tasks. So our digital workforce will again comprise of three parts. The first one is RPA, that is, the way we interact with the systems using different files, folders, browsing through the internet, all these kind of tasks are handled by our enterprise grade RPA platform. The next part is cognitive. So that is the intelligent part of our platform that is called IQ bot, where it can, it has a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence installed into it where it is going to perform the tasks which it can help you think with its brain and it's going to produce you good kind of results. And the third one is smart analytics. We want to look at how the bots are performing, how well they are doing the tasks, if there is any error rate, if at all, if there is any, what is the number of transactions which are processed. To do, to do these smart analytics, we again have a product called bot insights. So all this combined together is called a digital workforce, a combination of RPA, cognitive skills and smart analytics combined together comes up as a digital workforce. In our daily tasks, there are two kinds of automation which an RPA can perform. The first one is attended and the other one is unattended. Let's look at both of these types of automation. First, let's look at attended automation. Here, this requires human intervention for certain tasks in a process. A process can be filling out a bank form, processing an invoice. It can be any kind of tasks like claims processing. Let's take an example of a process which has 10 steps in which the first six steps are automated. The seventh step is a manual step. And again, the steps from eight to 10 are automated. In this scenario, the automation, attended automation, what it does is the bot will execute the first six steps, 
which are automated. It will wait for the human to execute the seventh step, which is manual. And again, the bot will continue with the rest of the steps eight to 10. So here we have a human in the loop to ensure if there is a need to perform a human task, whether it is a decision making, whether it is an approval process, it can be handled through attended automation. This is mainly used in the front office. Again, the second one is called unattended automation. In this case, the execution happens without human intervention. So what this means is the bot is not going to work in the user's system. Instead, it is going to run in a server in a virtual machine in an unattended mode. That means nobody has to wait for it or even watch how the bots are executing. You have the ability to watch if you want, but it is not intended. So in the earlier example where we spoke about a process which has 10 steps, if it is unattended, that means all the 10 steps in this process is automated and it executes the entire process all by itself without any human intervention. So now we spoke about different types of automation. Now let's look at what can be automated with RPA. I'll just show you a couple of simple examples and then we'll look at what are the uh, use cases which can happen with these tasks. First, filling in forms. For example, if you want to open a bank account, you would fill out a huge form and then give it to the bank executive for him to process and he need not type in the data into his application. Instead, this can be done by a bot. So that's the example of fill in forms. And a couple of other examples of what can be done with RPA, log into websites, like any kind of e-commerce websites, any kind of applications which the large organizations use, it can do that. Open emails and attachments. It can read the emails in any of your mail servers like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, or even live.com, any kind of email servers you have, the bots can read, open the emails, it can open the attachments, it can also save those attachments to your local system for further processing. Next one is web scraping. This means extracting the data from the websites. For example, Let's take a simple use case where a human wants to search for a price of a phone. Uh, let's take just an iPhone. If you go to a website like flipkart.com and search for iPhone, it's going to give you more than 175 results. So you don't have to spend time looking at each and every model, what is the different specifications and what is the different cost. Instead, you can ask the bot, to scrape the data, that means to extract the data from all the different pages which has iPhone. That means it is the bot is going to go to the website, extract all the data. It can put it to a Excel and save it to your local system. After, after the bot execution is complete, you can just go open the Excel and then quickly look at what are the different models available and you can compare the price all in one page and the bots can also perform calculations. Any kind of complex calculations, it can do with ease. Like the way calculators, the computers do it, now these bots can take the data from you or take the data from any of the input sources like Excel, CSV files, and then it can perform those calculations. A couple of more tasks, what it can do, it can extract data from files. That's the example what I was talking about in performing the calculations. It can take the data from an Excel file or any other files and then perform the operations on that. It can also read and write into databases. It can also post to social media networks. There are different APIs available through which you can post any kind of information through any channels. It can also help you in moving files and folders. You want to organize files and folders, move different files between the folders based on different conditions. It can all do that. And again, 
A lot of us would love Excel because it's very easy for us to use. Same way, the bot can also work with Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and all the Office applications also. Now, if a bot can do all these tasks, now let's look at what are the benefits of RPA and why should we use RPA? The first and foremost is accuracy. These bots are accurate. That means it performs whatever we have programmed it to do it. Low technical barrier. Even if you are a non-programmer, you can still build a bot because our platform is built in such a way that you can just drag and drop and build a lot of your tasks. However, if you are a technology person and if you are comfortable with coding and want to use your expertise, you can also use your coding skills. That is, our platform is also extensible in a way that you can plug in your own code and also run the same. Consistency. If you run the bot multiple times, it is going to give you same results. That's what is expected from a human, I mean from a bot. So that's where consistency is key when it is coming to assist a human in the way he has been doing it with his expertise. Also, RPA is a non-invasive technology. What it means is it is just a program which will run in your computer. You don't have to integrate it with any of your softwares which is already available in your system. So that's why it is very quick and you can start building a bot right away. So you don't have to wait for any complex integrations to be done before you can start working on it. These bots are reliable because the platform is time tested for different kind of conditions. So that's where you can be assured that these bots are going to perform reliably in your environment. Complaints. These bots can prepare log reports. These are the audit reports which the companies will need to submit to the compliance teams. And then productivity. These bots, as I explained earlier, the difference between the human and the digital workforce, these bots can run 24 bar 7, 365 days a year without taking any breaks, without taking any leaves. So that's where it is going to help a human take care of his work and personal life balance while the bots will take care of the robotic and monotonous work while he can productively take up additional high value tasks. Because these boring tasks are automated, a human has a more improved morale because he is able to work with more customer centric, more cognitive skills. He can use his thinking abilities to improve some of the processes or some of the business aspects as well, while the bots take care of the boring tasks. And this technology can work across industries and across any vertical. That means our technology is industry agnostic, vertical agnostic. You can see different examples of domains in which the RPA bots are implemented. Agriculture, power industry, multimedia, construction, aviation, transport, manufacturing, you name it, it is there. Any industry you can look, you can think of, it is already being used in those companies. The impact is real. Let's give you a specific examples of how these are used in different kind of industries. Take an example of a port authority. Here, the containers come in large quantities and there are like too many containers coming in the cargo ships. And if, it, if the amount of information it has to be processed, if it takes a long time, that means the ships have to stay at the port for a longer time. So that's where the bots can help improve the process of onboarding and offboarding the cargo information, whatever the details about the uh, load which is coming in, the different companies who have sent it, the different materials, the where, the where and whereabouts of 
how to transport this to the next stage is all handled. Next one is nurses spending more time with patients versus filling forms. If you look at examples of doctors giving a lot of prescriptions and they are writing the history of a patient and when the nurses and the medical practitioners have to look at these results they don't have to worry about just filling different forms in the hospital applications instead they can spend time with the patients understanding what is the customer need what is the patient need and then work with them closely while the bots take care of all the boring tasks the third example is like insurance claims resolved faster Let's take an example where there is an automobile accident for which a claim has to be logged. In which case, you are expected to fill a form, you are expected to send some photographs of the accident, the location details. After that, this has to be processed by the executive to update this information in the insurance systems. And these can be done by the bots so that the insurance claims are resolved much faster. Excuse me. Let's take a couple of more examples. If you want to open a bank account and for the banks, know your customer. The KYC details can all be processed through bots. HR onboarding process. A lot of times, if you understand what it takes to onboard a new employee into an organization, there are a lot of compliance checks which has to be done, the background checks, validation of all his marks cards, creating a system IDs, providing him access to different applications, the shared folders, the internal portals, all this can be handled by a RPA bot. Similarly, it can help you in e-commerce operations. For example, if you purchase a product or even if you return a product, there are a lot of processes which happen in the back end for the e-commerce companies and all this can be handled through the bots you can be a part of it and coding is optional as i mentioned earlier you can even if you are from a non computer science background you can still very well pick up these rpa platforms and work on this and build bots and coding is still optional if you have the coding skills you can also put your skills into use but it is not mandatory. We want to show you that anybody can start using RPA. That is what I'm trying to tell you here. So now let me introduce you to the Automation Anywhere's Intelligent Digital Workforce Platform. There are multiple ways in which uh, you can log into the platform and build bots as well. You can get instant access on any web browser too. So the latest platform called A2019, you can log in from any browser and start building bots. As I mentioned earlier, you can see on the left side, these are the different actions which are available for you to click, drag and drop. Even without doing any coding, you can drag and drop any of these functions. You can look at some of the examples, like you can work with an email, you can work with an Excel, you can write your looping statements, the if statements. You can call your JavaScript. You can call your Python script, VB scripts, any kind of scripting languages you can use. Along with that, you can use different loops, logging to different files. And if you want to work with any of the enterprise applications like SAP, Salesforce, Workday, it can all do. And then you can drag and drop any of these activities to your bot and then start creating the automation workflow. So how do you get started with us? From Automation Anywhere, we guide you in multiple stages and I'm going to walk you through each of the phases and where the ICT Academy is coming in collaboration with us to help assist you all in this RPA journey. The first phase is to learn. For any technology, if you want to put it into use, you have to first learn the technology. So that's where we provide you developer tracks in Automation Anywhere University portal. There are different learning trails. That means 
if you choose to be a developer you can take up the developer courses but if you want to choose any other different roles such as analyst project manager infrastructure specialist there are also different trails and certifications given here also we provide you with the documentation required for you to refer and then practice building the bots once you start learning you can also build there is a free community edition which you can use in your home or even in your colleges you can get this and start working on it you can build on apis we also provide you the sdks to extend and integrate the automation third is engaging we also have a community called a people we host a lot of developer conferences meetups hackathons career fairs and we also do have advocacy programs for college students so where you can look at a a lister program and then last one is earn there are different models in which you can earn by using this technology which i'll touch upon next so the first one is to learn that is take courses at automation anywhere university the url is university.automationanywhere.com you can go there you can also scan this qr code which will take you to that university portal and you can take different courses available and automation anywhere university already has 750000 courses completed more than 90000 certificates being issued there are 100 plus online rpa courses and we also partner with more than 100 training partners to provide trainings to different professionals students lecturers everyone so this is the feedback and the testimonials received from various universities across the globe here comes the our collaboration of automation anywhere university with the ict academy to build critical skills on rpa in india automation anywhere has signed an mou with the ict academy to help 500000 courses to be completed by 2021 the mou was signed last year in delhi with the presence of dr sahasra buddhi the chairman of aict so now you learn all this in the automation anywhere university portal and then you start building your bots this is where our community edition comes into place you can use this url shown on this slide you can also scan this code which will let you experience the power of rpa and the artificial intelligence it also has iq bot access to it which will help you use the intelligent components of it and this platform as i mentioned earlier it can work with any external apis you want to work with external cognitive services like azure google cloud platform amazon comprehend amazon text analytics all this apis are easily accessible and can be integrated with our platform to build bots next engaging so what happens because we are talking everything in a digital format when i am learning if i have some questions whom do i reach out to how do i know who are the experts in this field is there a place where i can interact with other students other learners other developers professionals that's where our a people community comes into place so you can again access this url where you can engage with rpa developers and enthusiasts from around the world here you can ask questions you can discover new ideas you can participate in different forums challenges and also events so if you have a question feel free to post it here and it's not only the automation anywhere experts and professionals and employees who are going to answer but all the professionals across the globe who has expertise on automation anywhere will answer your questions this is also a place where you can showcase your expertise once you learn it also has a leaderboard which will show you where you rank among the other different professionals across the globe
So now let's look at the next and the last portion of this. We look at the earn. That means now let's look at what are the different options available for us to make a, fruit, a fruitful career. First, let's look at the futuristic job roles. RPA developer. RPA developer is the person who is going to build bots using the RPA platform. RPA support engineer. So once these bots are deployed into production in large organization, you need somebody to support these bots, somebody to monitor these bots, analyze the results. So that's where a RPA support engineer comes into place. Next is RPA business analyst. He is the person who's going to analyze different processes to understand and confirm if a process makes sense to be automated or not. So he brings in a pipeline of processes to build software bots. Next is RPA infrastructure engineer. These RPA platforms can be on cloud, on premise, that is, as well this is where any engineers who are working on like aws platforms azure platforms google cloud platforms on which these rpa enterprise softwares are going to be provided will be handling a couple of more roles rpa solution architect for large for automating large processes you need a solution architecture in place in a way that a lot of different processes, the bots can be handled in a seamless manner. You manage different protocols. You write a design to create a big picture of how the RPA projects perform technically for the organization. And then we have RPA project manager. So these are the project managers who are going to manage this RPA project teams. Here, the project manager is expected to at least know nuances of how the RPA projects work along with people building skills, the team handling skills. So that is where it's a combination of technology and the people handling skills. RPA test engineer. So this is where once the bots are built, because these are going to run in live environment, you want to test these bots before you will deploy this to the production environment. So that's where a RPA automation and test engineer is very important. RPA process analyst, so the uh, process specialist. So these are the process specialists who knows the in and out of how a process is being performed step by step in an organization currently by human workforce manually and then he is going to give you the list of steps currently performed the different kind of exceptions that means different kind of errors that can come in and how to work around the way they are currently working around will all be provided to a business analyst to analyze if a particular process makes sense to be automated. So now we looked at what is RPA, what are the different roles which are which you can take up. Now let's look at who's looking for a RPA skilled workforce. All the large corporations are looking for RPA skill set. Here we have only put a couple of example logos because we could not really fit all the logos but you can see the best of the world companies here accenture workday eny microsoft pwc hitachi so all the companies are looking for rpa skilled workforce so you have an excellent chance to land in one of your dream companies by learning the rpa technology not only this the next is who are the customers? Who are the end customers who are using these platforms? We looked at a couple of examples in the earlier slide like Emphasis or Cognizant Accentures who are building these bots and providing services. 
and whom are they actually uh, providing these services to these are the companies for which those large corporations are providing the services to as i mentioned earlier this is vertical agnostic technology agnostic so that's where you can look at different domains here you can see the first one the one which i am highlighting bfsi the banking financial services and insurance you can see the top names here like jp morgan chase city anz ubs society general goldman sachs visa and mastercard similarly on the engineering space we have some great examples like caterpillar bosch honeywell lnt 3m and you can look at the other examples this is just to show you that this technology is being used in different domains take a look at pharma industry some of the major industry uh, companies like gluck gsk signenta pfizer astrazeneca similarly in telecom industries these are our customers airtel verizon at&t huawei nokia and couple of other examples in high tech is like linkedin dell semantic oil and energy utilities companies manufacturing industries everybody is using rpa i hope this provides you a short a short glimpse about what can be the future what are the different kind of activities what are the different roles you will be performing in these companies when you get trained on rpa skill set now it's not only about going to a taking up a job in a company you can also monetize your skills all by yourself let me give you an example we have a marketplace called as bot store let me help you understand what is bot store the bot store is the world's largest marketplace for pre built intelligent automation solution what does this compare to we all use smartphones right so so we have google play store in your android phone we have apple app store in iphone so these are the marketplaces in which you can get apps both free and paid apps which you can use similarly on bot store you can buy you can sell your bots that is what i am referring to you can build bots and you can list your bot on bot store platform and you can get monetization benefits that means you can earn by listing your bots on the bot store you can build a reven recurring revenue stream on the largest enterprise user base because when we sell our platforms we also talk about the bot store so to even learn how bots work how different bots are implemented you can go check out different bots which are available in the bot store also you can sell it and these are sold on a annual subscription basis we also help you protect your code we help you with the license management also we help you get your bots certified on the security aspect we understand in this digital age cyber security is a very important aspects so that's where we have introduced a industry's first bot security program which will help you understand what does a security aspect mean how are the bots secured what are the best practices to be followed to ensure your bots are secure security is an important aspect because the companies want to ensure the bots which are being deployed in their organizations are secure enough because it is going to work on their live data the production data is what is being processed by the bots so you can head to botstore.automationanywhere.com to see different bots we have available for you to take a look at it as i mentioned earlier there are a lot of free bots which you can download and try it out there are also paid bots which are available even for the paid bots there is a 30 day free trial which you can try at no cost if you like it then you can look at uh, taking that as a annual subscription so this is an example of how the listing pages look like if you want to build bots and then list it on the bot store so you build a bot you list your bot on the botstore.com 
you can choose the price whatever you want to quote and then you can get the monetization benefits from the platform so this is the next industrial revolution to free millions of people to think create discover and build the next generation products and services so this is the rpa platform is a tool on which you can build different kind of bots and deploy it for your personal use or also in the organizational use so the future workforce must evolve to take advantage of this new paradigm so what are the next steps how do you get started the first step is to get rpa trained and certified on the platform on the right side you can see the certificates which are being issued by the automation anywhere university and these are globally recognized by all the companies because they know our product already they are already using the product so they know about the company our assessments our training courses so you can also help academic processes to get automated as i understand most of you are in the colleges universities right look at the academic processes what are the different processes currently the lecturers the professors are doing these manually analyze which of these processes can be automated so automate these processes so the professors and the lecturers can use their additional time available to interact with the students to learn latest technologies to guide the students in a better way while the bots take care of all their manual activities which they were performing before also prepare for the rpa career so that you can assure the digital transformation at campuses right like in your campus you can showcase what are the processes which are automated and run by your bots so this way your college the university can showcase how you are different from any other colleges who are still doing a lot of work manually because the platform can work with multiple integrations you can even integrate it with communication channels the whatsapps the slack channels the telegram bots the chat bots it can integrate it with all so sky is the limit on what you can do with an rpa platform so the next step uh, in the collaboration with ict academy so there is a program called bot unleashed where rpa empowers your workforce to automate on their own in real time and here you can see the url displayed here on how you can register for this program also the ict academy team is always available to you to answer any kind of questions you have again uh, this is my email id if you have any questions i am more than happy to answer you feel free to reach out to the ict team as well if you have any questions there are a lot of experts who are being trained uh, in different colleges so they can answer and if you have any questions for me as well feel free to reach out and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions so go be great